Hello, this is a very small video I'm going to make about how to manage bill of materials in Excel sheet. I was trying to find something similar in a YouTube and when I never found it. So then with the some uh, working and some, some thought on it, I, I came up with this idea and I found this so now that's why I'm sharing it that somebody someone else can get benefit out of it okay so what is it is so here if I there is a situation for the bill of material and if I have a main assembly that uh, and the sub assemblies of this main assemblies are that assembly A is a part of that main assembly, assembly B is a part of this main assembly, part 1 and part 2 are the part of that main assembly. So they, these first four parts are the main assembly's parts and rest of these are here that would be the parts of these sub assemblies. Okay, so how I can find out actually if I'm looking for one main assembly, what would be the right numbers to order for all of its sub assemblies with respect of their quantities in their sub assemblies? So that was the main target, and that's what we are going to solve here. Okay, so now what I did actually, I added this link column in there from that column number I can actually identify that which are the parts of what of this assembly so see that if my main assembly has its own serial number unique serial ID it's a one and then I have a four parts and which I which is the bill of material of that main assembly so what I will do, I will add the main assembly's serial number in the link column for these fours. So now if I will filter the link for one, actually I can find what are the parts uh, belongs to the main assembly. So this is how I can get the part of these. So now if my assembly a which is a part of a main assembly and its handler number two what i'll do i will list down the parts as well in that main list for the for the as as i showed here the sub assembly of c sub assembly which name is c of a that this is a sub assembly of a so and there are more that sub assembly d of a and the part three of a so these three parts these three these the group of these threes are belongs to the assembly a so what i will do i will add a handler of assembly two with these two parts so i can find out okay if my this assembly is belongs to assembly 2 and if I want to know about what are the parts of the assembly a what I can do I can f I can find out okay what's the serial number and I will filter that with the two and I will get these three parts uh, that these are belongs to assembly a so that's how the sequence will continue that every part of the assembly would be in a state column with this unique ID number and in the relation which which parts are belongs to what we will add a handler a link in in the column and here we can actually uh, go back to the numbers of their parent assembly. okay so now if my bond quantity of main assembly is one and it's telling me that for in this main assembly I would use four times assembly A I would use two times assembly B and two parts uh, and one part of part two so now if that would remain one so these would be the numbers I'm looking for but 
assembly A, which I'm going to use four times, that includes two of assembly C, six <coughs> of assembly D, and one of part three. So, but these are not the numbers that I can order. Actually, these are the numbers which would be used four times. So I am looking for not only two, I am looking for, if I will change it just for the quick reference, so eight. So actually with the one assembly, I am looking for sub-assemblies to be ordered four. And because that this part is in a bomb quantity, it's one, but it's that assembly total is being used four times so I need these parts four times so that's what the kind of then this could be gone into five to six steps that sub-assembly of sub-assembly of sub-assembly of sub-assembly and all this sequence will work well with this with this system so how I did that so the first column is that you will leave at it as it is because this would be your input number you can change the color of it so actually uh, you can find out okay this would be that you are going to add that how many assemblies I need and rest of these will be calculated so here I added simple VLOOKUP formula there so what I did so I said that look for this number and check in this whole table where that number is and pick the value of its total quantity and that total quantity would be multiplied by its bomb quantity and because that would be done in a same column so it would be recalculating it up to the quantity we will reach so like I, to see it better so what i'm doing i'm doing that lookup start lookup value for this one and look this value from this whole table and and see that where is the column fourth what's the number for the column fourth value is and multiply by the its bomb quantity so now he's looking that which was the one and one is a, this main assembly and then it's going to the column four and it's finding that yellow number that is sub one and now he is populating in this formula value that it would be a one and now one would be multiplied by the bombs quantity which is the 4 and I will get the result of 4 and so now if I will log this formula and I will pull this formula down so everything every time it would be checking like see that 24 so 24 it's looking that what's the parent assembly of this so it's 2 so it would go back to the 2 and he would say that okay the two's quantity is four because of that this number which was calculated by the base of this and this four would be multiplied by its bomb quantity so i will get the right number out of it so the good advantage of this is that if i will change it into that main assembly's quantity would be two so now the first value is changed and that becomes eight and now if I was I would see that what's the situation is here so actually it's getting the last number from that table which is calculated laterly so he will get the he would start calculating and populating and it will come by the end and you will get the result what you are looking for so because of that two assembly that's assembly a is already populated as a eight and now two six and we were looking for that quantity that is eight and that eight times six would be multiplied and we'll get the result of 48 so whatever the tree is whatever the sub assembly 
would fall into that sub assemblies and with how many numbers it doesn't matter that level one two three four if whatever else formula i was trying to use it the formulas were getting longer and longer with this if if parts goes to the six levels of of their sub assemblies but in this sequence even you can go for the 20 levels or 50 levels and with no problem with just the one click you can get the results that's what i wanted to share that's all from me thank you for watching